Right now, a Verona High School teacher is on a leave of absence after sending out an email to staff members. What the school district is saying about the incident. Also, our Day of Warmth telethon is happening this week. We'll hear from someone who was helped out by the Keep Wisconsin Warm and Cool Fund. And later, how a local woman is doing something good for local food pantries with the help from employees at SSM Health. That's all coming up on News 3 Now at 6. A Mandarin language teacher at the Verona Area High School is on a leave of absence after an email sent to staff members. Our Catherine Merck joins us live outside the high school with more information on what the district was able to confirm. Catherine? Charlotte, online speculation led to questions about the employment of a Verona school district teacher, and we got answers today. Take a look at your screen. These are emails from a Reddit post that were confirmed from the Verona area school district. The identities of the employees were blurred by the Reddit post author. In the first email, the teacher sent out a message about a black American sign language display and then followed up with a video about a gorilla learning sign language attached to the thread. In another email, the teacher said that an unfortunate inference could have been drawn with the link that he posted and the email prior. The public information officer at the Verona Area School District tells me the employee in question is on administrative leave pending an investigation to follow district policies. I asked the district if it could confirm any online speculation on Reddit about the actions of the employee and the district told me it couldn't because of the investigation process adding in part quote we are disappointed that this is being discussed on social media especially given the inaccuracies allegations and assertions the district did not confirm the identity of the employee or more details about their employment at the district prior to this incident in some of those emails that were on the reddit thread the district did say that the uh, the emails about the employment referenced a new Mandarin teacher, and there is a new Mandarin teacher leading instruction there. Reporting live in Verona, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. The Rock County Sheriff's Department is investigating the death of an eight-year-old from Janesville. Authorities found the child's body in a home on West Miles Road. Sheriff's deputies were responding to a missing child report Saturday night just after 6 o'clock. A person of interest is in custody and there is no threat to the public. Today marks 21 days since the disappearance of Elijah Vu triggered a statewide Amber Alert. As the search for the three-year-old continues into his fourth week, dozens of people are helping authorities look for him. There's a $25,000 reward for any information that helps find Vu. Right now, Elijah's mother, Katrina Bauer, and her boyfriend, Jesse Vang, are in jail. They're facing multiple charges, including child neglect. Both will be back in court on March 14th. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss is under fire from within his own party. A group of voters from his Racine area district are trying to recall him. Today, they submitted thousands of signatures to the state's elections commission. And this is the second time in just a matter of years that Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has been the target of the conservative wing of his own party. Back in 2022, he faced a primary challenge from Adam Steen, who was backed by former President Donald Trump. We spoke with one of the recall organizers earlier today. To, to continue to show the members of the 63rd Assembly District currently, Racine County, and all of Wisconsin, how flawed Robin Voss is. And then going for the election, he's going to have a tough hill to climb. That's, that, that's my stand on that. So. The recall effort is being fueled by continued questioning over how the 2020 election was run. The State Elections Commission will meet tomorrow to discuss the recall petition. And we could see an election scheduled six weeks after the commission signs off on the recall. Some April-like temperatures moving through southern Wisconsin. Let's check the first one forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Hi, Alex. Hey there, Charlotte. Yes, gold all through and through for these very mild temperatures and a loud patio, too. We have bird feeders off behind me here. Birds are saying, Alex, get to the weather so we can get back to eating with temperatures in the low to mid to upper 60s across Dane County right now. Isn't that unbelievable? Take a look at this picture here from DeForest. Thanks so much, John, for sending us this weather photo here. Again, 
gorgeous conditions today, but things are going to be changing in our forecast. Those things that you need to know here for the evening, a gorgeous evening is expected ahead with temperatures falling down into the middle 50s. That's all we're going to do when you dial back in and joining us at 10 o'clock. But coming up in Maine weather, these April-like temperatures, they are limited. We're going to see those temperatures crash. We're going to see a weather system with rain. And I'm going to track some snow possibilities. We'll talk about that coming up in Maine weather in just a few minutes. An Adams County restaurant is considered a total loss after a fire yesterday afternoon. The fire reportedly started in the kitchen at the Family Affair restaurant in the Village of Friendship. The sheriff's office there says a 911 call came in just after 4 p.m. Multiple fire departments assisted in the response. No one was injured and the fire is not considered suspicious. Well, a heads up, the Wisconsin Air National Guard is once again conducting training flights and that means you might see and hear F-35 fighter jets until about 9.15 at night. Training usually happens during daylight hours, but pilots and maintenance have to conduct night operations to be prepared for anything. The training flights will happen again next week from the 18th through the 21st. The city of Madison says there will be a reconstruction project between Sego Road and Sheboygan Avenue starting next week. The reconstruction will take place in three phases. The first phase will begin on March 20th from University Avenue to Regent Street. Phase two will start on April 29th and go from Eau Claire to Sego Road. The final phase will begin on May 15th and it will go from Whitney Way to Eau Claire. The project is expected to be complete by mid-August. Well, News 3 is again partnering with the Keep Wisconsin Warm and Cool Fund to provide basic needs for those in our community. Our annual telethon is on Wednesday and our Maddie Heimsch sat down with someone familiar with the campaign today to learn more. Noelle Ayala, who I spoke to today, was once in need of financial assistance. He says the Keep Wisconsin Warm and Cool Fund came to his rescue, and now he works for the fund, helping customers just like him. At one point, I was facing this connection. I got disconnected from my utilities, and then a friend told me about energy assistance. As any person, a little bit hesitant to go to apply. That hesitation, Ayala says, is something he sees often. Now serving as the customer care coordinator, he says he sees pride get in the way when working with vulnerable customers. It's just that we all go in life through situations. It was a hand up, not a hand out. Last year, News 3 Now collected more than $42,000 to provide heating and air conditioning systems to those in need to make it through our ever-changing Wisconsin weather. Ayala told me he's proud of what the organization is able to do with the funds. An organization committed, dedicated, and focused not just to veterans, but any families, disabled, elder, elderly, or small children, we're here to help you. Since its start in 1996, the Keep Wisconsin Warm and Cool Fund has provided for more than 100,000 households. And another reminder that our telethon is set for this Wednesday right here on News 3 Now. We officially have a winner in the News 3 Now Spirit of Service campaign. We partnered with Vortex Optics in honoring local veterans doing amazing things in the community. We received close to 2,000 votes for the top five finalists on channel3000.com and you, the viewers, ultimately chose Rob Drugsvault as the winner. This all comes after 100 nominations were submitted by News 3 Now viewers. Drugsvault receives an unconditional $5,000 prize presented by Vortex. And we want to congratulate all the finalists for their hard work and dedication in the 608. Still ahead on News 3 Now at 6, why Johnsonville is recalling thousands of pounds of sausage. Plus, a local brewery is running a new business model to lower their beer prices. Why they say they're making the change. We're watching News 3 Now at 6. Brought to you by Ruber Law Offices. When you've been seriously injured, you'll need a team with knowledge and experience to get the results you deserve. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all.
Get an 11% rebate on everything you need for your big projects at Menards. For 65 years, Menards has been the one-stop shop for post-frame buildings. Whether it's protecting equipment or you just need a place to keep your toys, Menards has the post-frame building for you. Get free estimates fast when you design your post-frame building. Plus, get an 11% rebate on everything today. There's no limit to what you can say. Save big money at Menards. Do you feel like America is slipping away? Our country is facing enormous challenges. Our economy, our health care, crime, and open borders. Everything is going in the wrong direction. All Washington does is divide us and talk about who's to blame. And nothing gets done. That's not the country I know and love. I'm Eric Hovde. I'm running for the U.S. Senate. And I approve this message because I believe we need to come together and find common sense solutions to restore America. Get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy in the Madison area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olson Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you or give us a call and ask us about our Earth Day promo. Start your new day with the News 3 Now This Morning team, bringing you local breaking news, exploring all that makes our area special, and letting you know what to expect when you head out the door. News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. Weekdays. You're watching News 3 Now at 6, moving forward. Johnsonville is recalling more than 35,000 pounds of turkey kielbasa sausage after customers found pieces of rubber in the food. The turkey sausage is sold around the country. The recalled product has a best buy date of May 17th and May 18th. If people have the turkey sausage in their refrigerator, they should toss it or return it to the store for a refund. The company, Psalm Partners, is urging people to see their doctor if they suspect the turkey sausage has caused any injury. Madison's Delta Beer Lab is changing things a bit to help its staff earn a fair wage. Starting this month, Delta Beer Lab has started allowing servers to accept tips. The Southside Craft Brewery survived the pandemic, but increased debt loads and inflation have made it harder to keep up with its tip-free model and still pay staff a fair wage. The only way that we can continue to operate and continue to grow and continue to support the community is through uh, increasing sales and using that margin uh, to turn around and employ people, um, expand our product reach, give back more to the community. On Tuesdays, it will partner with a nonprofit to donate 100% of its net taproom proceeds. A local woman is looking to do something good through cooking. After the break, Josh Spryder shows us how community donations for the Memorable Meals Cookbook are doing something good for local food pantries. And you will definitely want to take advantage of the weather over the next couple of days. Alex has the complete forecast after this break. It's free if I do it, babe. <laughs> Whoa, you need the experts. Let the experts at Feldco make your home renewal project a cinch with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for five years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Shop family-owned Brothers Main for our large selection, low-price deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Main. Hi, I'm Gary Canulty, and I'm inviting you on a holiday vacations tour. Experience the Rhine River September 9th through the 20th. We'll cruise the scenic ride aboard a luxurious Amadeus cruise ship. Explore the splendors of Switzerland, Germany, France, and Amsterdam as we make our way down the spellbinding river. Visit HolidayVacations.com, keyword WISC, for more information and to watch a travel show. Or call 888-557-1020 for a free brochure. Look, I'm not a young guy. That's no secret. But here's the deal. I understand how to get things done for the American people. 
I led the country through the COVID crisis. Today, we have the strongest economy in the world. I passed a law that lowers prescription drug prices, caps insulin at $35 a month for seniors. For four years, Donald Trump tried to pass an infrastructure law, and he failed. I got it done. Now we're rebuilding America. I passed the biggest law in history to combat climate change because our future depends on it. Donald Trump took away the freedom of women to choose. I'm determined to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again. Donald Trump believes the job of the president is to take care of Donald Trump. I believe the job of the president is to fight for you, the American people, and that's what I'm doing. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Can we do one more take? Look, I'm very young, energetic, and handsome. What the hell am I doing this for? Here's your parachute. Certain it's okay? Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters, so congratulate coworkers or say thank you with promotional products from 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. You're watching News 3 Now at 6, moving forward. A local woman is looking to give back to the community by way of a cookbook. She put a call out to her colleagues at SSM Health for any and all recipes that mean something at home. As Josh Spryder shows us, they're using memories in the kitchen to do something good. You'll often find Catherine Scott right here. It's more than cooking and baking for Catherine, but memories. Food is a great connector and um, it causes you to to appreciate maybe a different culture. Like these toffee almond sandies she's making, her mother's longtime recipe and family favorite. Food is always the answer if you want to get people to come to something. Catherine decided to bring that mentality into her work life as well. The senior communications consultant at SSM Health raised the idea of creating an employee cookbook, a way to help staff reconnect coming out of the pandemic. People have family traditions. They have maybe family recipes or things from a travel that they've made around the world. And if we could gather those together and tell stories about them, we'd make new connections for people. This idea grew into the collection of 104 recipes with stories, photos, and shared memories submitted by staff all across SSM Health in Wisconsin. With the help of her team, Catherine then led the work to create and publish the Memorable Meals Cookbook. Little did they know how much of a hit this idea would be. More than ever today, we need those connections. We're a divided society. Everybody talks about that, you know, politically, economically. Uh, what a great way to make connections. We all need to eat, right? And if you sit down and break bread with somebody, you get to know them in a very powerful way. The books were such a success, SSM Health found a way to give back to the community by donating proceeds to area food pantries. Food insecurity is a big issue with SSM Health. We realize it's one of the social determinants of health. If people don't have enough to eat, they can't be healthy. More than 800 cookbooks have already been sold at their hospitals and clinics across the Badger State. This includes the gift shop at St. Mary's Hospital in Madison, where you'll still find them on sale today. They only ask for a suggested $10 donation. Somebody told me I can't make a donation, but I, I so appreciate what you've done. I have needed to use a food pantry. Thank you for doing this. You know, that made it all worthwhile. The sales have raised more than $8,000 so far, all of which will be donated to seven community food pantries in Dane, Fond du Lac, Green Rock, and Sauk counties. They're doing great things in the community and that we can work alongside with them. Is, is important to us. One of those, the River Food Pantry in Madison. These donations will be helping their Match Madness program this month, which focuses on why protein is vital to your health. Food insecurity is not going away anytime soon. So whether it's uh, the inflation and the prices uh, that people are dealing with or whatever the reason, people are struggling. For us here at the river, being able to help people out with those groceries and a few groceries to be able to maybe help with being able to pay another bill is really important. An idea that started with cookies in Catherine's own kitchen, inspiring and helping others live a happy, healthy life. This recipe just one of 15 cookie or bar recipes in the book and one of 31 desserts. People just are really proud of the work that went into it. And everybody who contributed, whether they gave money or contributed a recipe, they're all a part of it. Mm -hmm. And so they can all feel good that they did something good. In Madison, Josh Breider, News 3 Now.
Right now, you can still find the cookbook in the gift shop at the SSM Health St. Mary's Hospital in Madison. Again, there is a minimum suggested donation of $10, and all of those proceeds are donated. More details can be found in this story at channel3000.com. And here is Alex once again with your forecast. Thanks, Charlotte. Man, am I hungry right now. Nice night to maybe do some grilling with temperatures at 62 degrees. Mid is a little bit on the low side, so there is that fire danger. So if you are going to grill tonight, just be on the careful side. And what a pretty shot here at our Capitol. It's still light out there. And speaking of light, if you want more light, we've got more light in the forecast. Our days are getting longer as we head into April, 730 sunset. As we get into May, 8 o'clock sunset. And as we get into June, an 830 sunset. So as we progress from winter into spring, we're springing forward with more sunlight. Three things you need to know, 60s through the Wednesday time frame, so April-like weather, then showers mid to late week. We're going to break that weather system down. Could be some snowflakes, too, with that. Next weekend, cooling on down. Not cool right now. We got 62 in Madison, 67 in Lone Rock, and a 71 tide in Boscobel and Prairie du Chien at 6 o'clock at night on a March 11th, so it's pretty unbelievable out there. 62, as I said, Madison, we are tying that in McFarland, 65 in Middleton, a little bit warmer to the south and west. That's where the warm air is coming from. So planning your evening tonight, what a perfect night for a stroll with your dog. Temperatures in the 50s when you dial in at 10 o'clock at night, you might even be able to crack the window open with temperatures still at 54 degrees. Future track, as we scoot forward, this is all we're gonna do for our low temperature. Look at where we start in Madison, 45, 47 in Janesville, 50 in the Dells. That's our starting point for your Tuesday with southwesterly breezes, a passing cloud or two, but there'll be sun as well. 67 in Madison in the lower 70s in the Wisconsin River Valley. Our friends up towards Marquette and Green Lake and Juneau and Adams counties, also up near 70 degrees. But that's it because temperatures are going to take a Nose dive by the time we go to Thursday, approaching normal, but it's going to feel cold, relatively speaking. Why? Because we have a weather system that's going to be bringing significant precipitation chances widespread on your Thursday, and we need that because we have drought conditions across much of southern Wisconsin, especially north and west of Madison. Let's be first to track that weather system. Six o'clock in the morning, you'll need your windshield wipers across the southern half of the area all green as we go towards lunch on your Thursday, so you won't be taking lunch outside then, so take advantage of that now. Then as we go towards the 6 o'clock hour on your Thursday, a lot of green across all of southern Wisconsin, so this will be a light to moderate rain, but notice a little bit of pink and a little bit of blue in there as we go into Thursday night and Friday. Could see a wet snowflake or two. Widespread quarter to half inch amounts across all of southern Wisconsin. But I mentioned in the 5 o'clock sh show that I'd be mentioning that there is the potential for a little bit of wet snow, especially north of Madison. But with really warm grounds out there and with the rain prior to the snow falling, I think a lot of that's just going to melt on contact. And if it does stick, it would stick to those grassy surfaces out there. Wouldn't be looking at significant accumulations at this point in time. Bottom line, warm through your Wednesday, rain and breezy on Thursday with that wet snowflake chance cooler as we go on into the weekend. Look at just how cool we'll go. These are temperatures as we head out towards St. Patty's Day, about where they should be for this time of year, so you might need the extra green vest on your St. Patty's Day Sunday. And coming up in sports, Green Bay releases two longtime Packers who they added to fill a couple needs for the franchise. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. What's your up north? No matter what up north means to you, we've got you covered. Everything for your weekend lifestyle is at the new Up North Expo, March 15th through 17th at Align Energy Center in Madison. See and test the latest products. Shop home furnishings. Learn how to play pickleball. Meet builders and real estate pros. Chow down at tasty food trucks. Grab a friend and join the fun at the new Up North Expo, March 15th through 17th, Align Energy Center, Madison. This month, we're looking for 200 homeowners interested in getting a new fence. We're offering up to $1,000 off, plus an upgrade of up to 10 free solar caps. Our fences outlast wood 3 to 1 and are backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. Call now or visit the website for your new fence today. 
It's Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Rewards Member Spring Early Bird Event. Now through March 20th, we're showing extra appreciation to our rewards members with exclusive members-only deals. Right now, save on a state crabgrass preventer, $32.99. Rewards members save an extra three bucks. Buy three tires, get one free. Rewards members get an extra $25 instant savings and up to a $100 consumer rebate when you buy four Goodyear tires. Shop unbeatable rewards member deals and more for just a limited time in-store or online at farmandfleet.com. Introducing Gloria's Mexican Restaurant, your destination for authentic Mexican cuisine and craft cocktails. We're proud to offer delicious dishes made from the best ingredients. Whether a family meal or a special event, Gloria's has you covered. Visit us today. We went to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison last night. I don't really get how the jackpots work. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison actually has had multiple million dollar winners. There are linked progressive slot machines at the same casino where local players increase the jackpot amount. And a standalone progressive jackpot increases when a player plays on an individual machine that isn't linked to any other machine. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, more ways to win. Find your perfect jackpot. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Here's California banker Eric Hovde, running for U.S. Senate. But Hovde's lifestyle? Pure California. CEO of a billion-dollar bank. Here's Hovde's over $7 million Laguna Beach mansion. And three years in a row, Eric Hovde was named one of Orange County's most influential residents. Mm. Multimillionaire California banker Eric Hovde. On Wisconsin's side, don't bank on it. When Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. It was a massive making moves Monday for the Green Bay Packers. The big one signing Josh Jacobs to a four-year, $48 million deal. And with the Raiders, Jacobs was a two-time Pro Bowler and was the league's rushing leader in 2022. Now, that'd be quite the one-two punch in the backfield between Jacobs and Aaron Jones. But that's not going to happen. The Packers released Jones, who Brian Gutekunst just called the heart and soul of the team. Now, since being drafted by Green Bay in 2017, Jones has rushed for just under 6,000 yards and has scored 63 total touchdowns. But 33 wasn't the only longtime Packer that was released. After 11 seasons, David Bakhtiari's time in Titletown is done. Over the past three years, the All-Pro left tackle played in just 13 games and underwent five surgeries on his left knees since tearing his ACL. Now that move opened up some room for the Packers to sign safety Xavier McKinney to a four-year $68 million deal. Last season with the Giants, McKinney recorded a career-high 116 tackles while picking off three passes. He'll fill the void that Darnell Savage left after signing with the Jaguars. Camp Randall East has gotten one former Badger bigger in Pittsburgh. Russell Wilson and the Steelers have agreed to a one-year league minimum deal meaning the Broncos will be paying him nearly $38 million to not be in Denver. Wilson joins T.J. Watt, Nick Herbig, Keanu Benton, Isaiah Loudermilk, and Tyler Beach as Badgers turn Steelers. But he wasn't the only Badger on the move. After five seasons with the Dolphins, Andrew Van Ginkle has agreed to a two-year $20 million deal with the Vikings. He finished last year with 69 tackles, six sacks, and a pick six. And Zach Bond is headed back to Philly. He and the Eagles agreed to a one-year deal. A lot of moving parts. Oh. A lot of Badgers on the move, uh -huh. a lot of Packers on the move. My gosh, you got to keep them straight. You need a board. <laughs> yes. Are you right? taking notes, Alex? I, I, I wasn't. Though. Yeah. Sorry. Next time. Next we'll time. give you another shot. All right, let's talk about weather. It's a Grill, good one. It's a good one for tonight. Grilling weather outside tonight as temperatures dip down into the 50s. Join us at 10. We'll see if that 54 verifies. All right, thank you very much. And thank you for joining us. Have a great evening, and we'll see you back here at 10.